I want you to jump into the fiction of your imagination. Imagine you are designing a building. You are constantly creating each aspect, but sometimes it's almost creating itself. How does your brain produce an image that you have never seen before? When we look at an object, thousands of neurons at our posterior cortex are triggered together. In every single neuron holds up specific information about an image. In neuroscience it's called the Habian principle. Neurons that are triggered together are wired together. Now imagine a football. All the neurons that holds the information about the football will lit up. But this doesn't solve the situation we came in the beginning. How does I create a world of imagination that I have never seen before? One hypothesis is mental synthesis theory. If the neurons of two different groups are triggered together, you will see two different informations at the same time. What do you see in the image? There is no triangle in the image. This is because 40% of our brain is devoted to visual perception and mental imaginary. Yeah, we constantly create things from our imagination. In 1955, Corkett Johnson, in his book, Herald, an imaginary character. He decided to go for a walk till the moonlight. What was interesting, he designed his world from a crayon. He doesn't want to get lost in the woods. So he drew an apple tree. Then the apples on the tree was so good. He made a dragon to protect those apples. And he was so afraid of his own dragon that he gets back and his hands started to shake. Suddenly he realizes what was happening, that he is in an ocean. But then quickly he comes with an idea to draw a boat. Imagination leads to new ideas. Like creating something which has no meaning today. And after a few decades that was an engineering marvel. Around 830 AD, Abbas ibn Farnas, a polymath, he experimented with multiple designs for aviation decades before Leonardo's painting. Harold was conscious of his unconsciousness. That is why he can come out of water. If he wouldn't be, he can never come out of water and his imagination will end at the same time. So do he. What is this place? It's like a dream world but living in a dream world in a thought it's a reality for you. Never recreate things in your dream that exist in reality. Always imagine new places from your memory because building a dream from your memory is the easiest way to lose what is real and what is dream. There's an experiment where one person was closed in a white room. Yeah, the student was closed in a white room for three days. There was nothing in that room other than things that are white. That was completely a white room. For three days, he was locked inside it. I want to close it. Huh. When he went to the bathroom, the toilet seat was white and even the switches was completely white. But it wasn't the case. There was something very interesting. There was no clock in that room. He wanted to make an idea of his brain that what time it is and what time isn't. And as the student came out, the researcher asked the student how long you was in the room. In fact, replying like three days, the student told I was more than three days, around six to seven days. The room was completely white. When he sleep in the room, <sighs> when he sleep in the room, he think about his memories. The memories inside the room. Because what actually happened with him, because he was so long in the re room, he dreamed about the room. But dreaming about the room forgets him what is dream and what is real. He couldn't differentiate because what is white and what is not. Because everything inside it was having the same pattern that his dream was. So that is a question. 
he forgotten what is white not because the thing was white because the surrounding that he lived in was completely mimicking the surrounding of his dream in this dream all the people were a part of a simulation and i was creating these monuments in a dream it is easy to imagine like different maps new places navigation new languages geology everything can be imagined even its own history okay harry houdini the master magician once claimed that he can break out any jail in the world all he had to do was just walk into the jail cell with his street clothes yeah the clothes he daily wear and he told i'll be out within an hour, an hour from any jail cell well some people from south heard the same thing and they accepted the challenge from harry houdini and uh, on that day when harry houdini went on that jail cell crowd gathered all around to watch that if harry houdini will be successful to get out of that jail cell or not people gathered to see harry houdini's confidence and when houdini went into the jail he was a smiling and filled with confidence the first thing that he did he opened his coat yeah oh, mine was attached with a microphone and uh, he removed his belt and then secretly hidden in his belt there is a metal sheet 10 inches long very tough and flexible houdini started trying to open the jail cell one of one hour later or half an hour later Houdini was completely bathed into the sweat. Houdini tried again. Two hours left. Houdini was out of his confidence. Then finally, he realizes and collapsed himself on the jail door. Finally opened after Houdini was blown away. from his idea and completely bathed from the sweat now nearly 4 hours later houdini got to know that the jail door was never closed it was already opened because the only door that exist which was locked was his mind people lose and they tend to realize what they want practically couldn't be possible that is why someone said if you want to identify a person look for his philosophical thoughts because philosophical people often fail to pursue that in reality yeah i won't agree with it 100% definitely won't but how will you differentiate what is real and what is dream how long i was in the dream 5 minutes but it feels me that i was like in an hour in a dream in a dream your mind functions more quickly therefore it seems that time slowed down some expert says that 5 minutes in a dream world gives that an hour in a real world yeah it's true now take the example of the game two dots which carry you through an experience of green buttons a green button to start a game a green button to pick a level a green button to start a level and three green buttons to get to the next button but once you lose a level the scheme changes the green color leads you to an in app purchase it is how someone can trick you by its mean and you never realize it our brain constantly collect information that we never realize when we pegged this is a dark pattern a creepy user experience that instantly makes it difficult almost impossible to do something that hurts your creativity harry brignall describes it as a roach motel a design which makes it easy to get into a situation but harder to get out of things happens in a dream world it is easy to imagine it is difficult to end
Now back to Harry Houdini. He dreamed of being in a cage, but the concept of his dream world was weak than the reality that made him block. A place where nothing is unexpected and everything is accepted. A place of perfection where even the created flaws are regulated. The imaginary world has no limits. With multiple characters to play with, but one of the biggest question is why does my dream ends badly? Even it's made by my own imagination. One hypothesis that I can suggest that the neurons of our unconscious brain come so close to the conscious brain that we are bound to reality and when imaginary part of our brain are bound to the laws of reality, it ends badly. Today it is getting more and more devious for the kids to create imaginary world. Not only we are bound with real life simulation but we are also bound with virtual simulation. Yeah, a video game is a virtual representation of someone's imaginary world that you want to pursue. If someone asks you, yeah, in your dream, that are you in a dream or you are in a reality, you will reply that you are in reality because it is always difficult to differentiate between dream and reality. Hey, you haven't questioned, how did I came here? Is this video a part of your dream? Never forget, you never remember the beginning, nor the end.